Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about creating filters with our Polymer Elements. Uh, so in a previous video we created this little uh, name tag thing, and one thing I was doing is kind of forcing the end user to uh, abbreviate that last name on their own. So if I put in the full last name, load that up, everything gets messed up, and I would like it for the component to take care of that itself. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a filter. Uh, let's see, so here I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it filter, and in there, I'm going to create my first filter. So I'm going to call this filter uh, abbreviate.js. So this is an actual JavaScript file. So the way that we uh, can do this is with Polymer expressions. So we take Polymer expressions and we append, <coughs> sorry, we append to its prototype the new filter that we want to create. So I'm going to call it abbreviate. And then it's going to take in the input, and in my case, I'm just going to return input dot substring uh, zero comma one. So that's going to be uh, the first uh, first character in that string. Now, a really common way to kind of keep all your filtering together, all the filtering functionality, I guess, is in our filter directory. We're going to create filter dot html. This is going to seem a little weird, but we're just going to use script source and we're just gonna bring in that uh, filter. So we this file could end up being just a whole bunch of sources to filtering functions. Uh, so I'm just gonna save that. Now over here in our name tag, we're gonna go ahead and import that. Filter, filter HTML. Okay, so now that's part of our component. And then here on the L name, we're just gonna pipe in abbreviate. So if we load that up, hopefully I didn't skip any steps here. Let's just refresh. Okay, so it's just a caching issue. Uh, we have our abbreviate functionality. Uh, so we created a filter in filter abbreviate. We stored that in filter.html, and then we imported that into our name tag component and used it right here on the last name. So if we want to, uh, whoa, where'd that go? There it is. If we want to create a couple of these, uh, Okay, Ben, I might misspell this, clink, clink, and beard. There we go, Ben C. So that is pretty cool. Uh, one great resource, Adios Money has this uh, GitHub repo at Polymer Filters, uh, where they've just been plugging away at creating all sorts of different filters that you can drop right in, and I think, maybe it's, oh, Polymer Filters. So just like I was showing before, they're just bringing in all the filters into one, and uh, they've got all these great examples on how to use them. Uh, so that's a great resource to look at, uh, creating all sorts of different types of filters as well. So there you go, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a good one.